Hello, my lovely Virgo people. Let's see what the message is for you today. What you have been manifesting since the last new moon. What is coming into your life now? Oh, do you already have a card? Okay. All that glitters, but it was reversed. Maybe you're going after false gold. That is just the first thing that pops up. I am... Before I go into details, let's just look at this at your beginning. Let's take these cards. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo. Leo's are just the energy. The Leo energy is just everywhere. I mean, I don't know if it's because that we are coming into Leo season. I mean, it might be. Would make sense, right? Tower moment might need to occur in your life. You might again. <laughs> maybe you're even stalking someone. Maybe you are a Libra or air sign looking for a Virgo. So right now you are trying to stalk to see what's going on in their life. Okay, what is the message for Virgo? What are they manifesting? What do they need to let go of? Give us some magic. <sighs> Does someone have ringing in their ears? I just, I just heard that, like ringing, ringing in the ears. Well, there's a new beginning. There's a new beginning here. But there's also a loss. Oh, it sounds so bad when I say it like that. But we do have to reverse the lovers. At the bottom of the deck, we have the hanged man. Whew. I do feel that for some of you guys, you are in a relationship that's really not good for you. Because the reversed, all that glitters, is all about something rotten. It's all about like walking away, walking away from the smell. It's like someone is trying to cover up the relationship or the attention with putting glitters over the rats. So, it is a big sign for you that you need to let go of whatever you are in. And I do feel this is a relationship because we do have the reversed, um, the lovers. Some of you guys, this might actually be as bad as being in an abusive relationship. Um, this the last card is the is the aid of sorts. So it's all about coming out of something abusive. So I do feel that's the case for some of you guys. For others of you, it's probably not that bad, but it's still someone who doesn't have good attention with you. Maybe someone is just after your gold your pentacles um i mean i do see earth and water but again don't pay attention to the signs that's why i don't always say signs because it's more about the message coming out also with this card this is like your I feel that your spirits and angels are trying to protect you here. It's like if you stay in this relationship, something bad is going to happen. I mean, this might be something with drugs. This can be, be abusive. Like if you stay in a relationship, the person is going to turn out to be abusive. So it's like, it's like, isn't it amazing how our angels are actually trying to protect us from staying in something that's not good? Um, saving our asses because this is a warning for someone out there like save yourself if you don't want to go down with the boat it's like better things are coming your way because you do have the ace of cups so a new relationship 
is new romance is coming into your life but there is someone here that you really really need to let go of and i'm not going to be silent about this you know what i'm talking about you need to get out before this person pulls you in to something bad again it might not be you know it might not be as bad as abusive but it might be for some of you and for others of you it might be like that you know something with money or health or something like that it there is this warning of you're going to be sorry it's like i told you so you know at the bottom of the deck we do have the hanged man so you might already realize that you are in a bad situation so you do feel trapped you might feel trapped about how you can get out of this this might also simply be like lacking a sense of direction like you don't know if you should go ahead with this person and or not this is simply i mean this is whatever relationship you tr think that it's good for you it's not also with the hanged man it is again releasing let go i mean these two cards are just yelling at you that you need to let go of whatever situation or person you are in and um you do have the reverse judgment here, so I do feel that you heard gossips about this person. You heard people has been warning you about this person, but you might have ignored the signs because, again, all that glitters is attracting us. So you have been attracted to the gold, the glitter, but you did hear the gossip, but for some reason, again, you ignored the signs or you just... Ignored the warnings. Maybe the other person was like, no, no, I don't know that person. Don't listen to what other people say. But again, warning. So for what you have been manifesting since the last new moon, you do have the reversed page of pentacles. So it is about bad news. So now that this is in what you have manifested, I do actually feel that this is like the universe is really trying to, you know, to get you on the right track. The universe is trying to get you on the right track to manifest something that you actually do want, like a new romance. Um, so maybe without that you even know it, you actually have been manifesting or the universe took over and, you know, did the work for you was like you need to go in that direction and we are going to make sure that you do something like that you might be in this like unhealthy lifestyle right now um it can be all from it can be drugs or alcohol it can also be that you eat unhealthy or that you just again that you Put yourself in a box where you don't believe that you deserve something better than the false gold that you are chasing after at the moment. But again, remember, you do have this. And this is like where you are at the moment. And this can be where you are now that you see this. Like you got your sign that whatever false gold you've been chasing is not good so you know that there is something new coming your way so that's what you that's where your focus is going to be on from now on not the past remember that you need to let go of the fa false person the false gold so a new beginning a new relationship new romance is coming into your life and for what is coming into your subconscious mind, we had the reverse judgment. Uh, so I do again feel that with the gossip that you hear or heard, it's like you realize that the other person might not be good for you. But it's like you just needed a little extra push 
you need it really to to get the like let go sign which could be me saying saying it to you maybe that's what you actually manifested like when we had the the new moon you manifest that you wanted to have a clear sign what you should do in this relationship or situation so this is me saying that you need to let go of a person because there is something better coming into your life i mean also with the reversed judgment you might lack awareness again you might be unwilling to or some of your guys might be unwilling to learn but again if you go after the false gold <clears throat> there is an energy that you are going to be sorry after so maybe some of you guys really need to go ahead and do it but i am here to say that you should not Maybe you are the next day is going to hear some kind of gossip where you are being like, okay, maybe she was right. Maybe I should let go. For what is no longer serving you, you have the reverse six of pentacles. So again, I feel that you are someone who might give too much and receive nothing. So it doesn't serve you anymore to, to always be the giver. Uh, maybe it is again it is probably linked together with the that other person that you keep giving but you don't get anything so this is something that you need to let go of uh, for how you can let go of that pattern you do have to reverse the lovers so again i do feel that this is all about that you need to let go of someone who is simply not good for you there is someone in your life who take, 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 but he might have put you in bad situations in the past. But then again, for some reason, you just keep giving to that person emotionally. But there, whatever you are in, there is a lot of disharmony, imbalance, fighting. There is a need for detachment, that's for sure. For the last card, you do have the Eight of Swords. I mean, it feels like an escape. And I don't know why I feel that might just be one of you that you actually do need to escape. It might be a, that bad situation that you are in. For others of you, it's simply just, you know, a card of freedom that you need to free yourself again. You need to free yourself so that this can come into your life. It's like an overcoming energy. It's like if you... Uh, someone who's been in an abusive um, relationship it's time for you to stand up for yourself if you need to call the police and actually you know um, get this guy this woman get this person arrested it's a call for you to do it because it's like you've been in this situation for too long you you know you've been taking the hits for too long I do really feel that some of you guys or just one of you guys have been or are in an abusive relationship where you just keep staying in it because you have been might have been afraid to actually let go. Maybe again the person comes with flowers and then everything is good and that's what you're used to so you know you never really seen why you should leave. Again, maybe the other person put in your head that you are not good enough, that no one else is going to love you. But look what's waiting for you. So. I am going to... I don't know why I feel someone out there is crying. You don't need to cry. Because everything is going to be alright. Also, I feel there is a need for you to forgive yourself for actually staying in the situa situation, situation for too long because it's not your fault it's simply someone really been manipulating you for too long let's see what the message is for you what is the message for Virgo. Virgo 
I don't know why I heard and suddenly it got quiet. That is weird. I have unlikely. So again, I do feel that this is like this person is unlikely to give you what it is that you actually want. This person is unlikely to actually change. He's not going to change. Or oh, the other person is not going to change. Uh, we have within the next few weeks. I am going to see. Um, okay. No need to worry. So again, if you are someone who actually do need to escape, escape. You have nothing to worry about. I heard that spirit has a plan. <laughs> like, you know. Uh, that is an emotional reading. You don't need to worry because you are guided the spirits. Your angels and guides are with you in every step that you take. From packing your bags to driving the car to find a new home. Um, I just heard that there is a need to reach out to your family for the person who actually is in abusive relationship this might be early stage of an abusive relationship like you realize there is some kind of signs but maybe because you've never been in an abusive relationship you don't see it as a warning maybe the other person is just abusive when they have been drinking so maybe you are a little bit like, well, they can just stop drinking or I can't fix this. Again, you are someone who thinks that you need to fix other people. And this is, you need to think about yourself right now. For some of you guys, it is bad. And for others of you guys, it's not bad, but it's a false person with false uh, promises. So I hope this could help you. Please let me know in a comment below. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and like so this message can get out to people who need it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.